What are profiles and how do I set them up with Nexus Mod Manager? Those are the questions I'm going to answer in this video. For many people, one set of mods is probably enough. They'll install the mods that make the game look better, play better, or just add some content they want to experience. But for others, they'll want a little more. Perhaps they'll want one set of mods for their warrior character, a completely different set of mods for their mage character. Maybe they will have one set of mods for just experiencing the land, taking screenshots, and another to make the land harsh and demanding. And that, that is where profiles come in. A profile is just a collection of mods, a collection of mods that have been set up to deliver a certain experience. And in fact, the mods you see installed here could very easily be turned into a profile, and in fact, that is what I'm going to do. The mods I've got installed are there to give Skyrim a kind of harsh winter feeling. As you can see, I've got this big bearskin cloak on. You can probably see that when I breathe out, the air is so cold, you can actually see the steam from my nose. And when I run around, you can actually see footprints left in the snow. So all round, this collection of mods is there to give a true harsh Nordic feeling. But what happens if you get a little tired of all that cold and decide you want to turn Skyrim into a tropical wonderland? Well, you can do that. There is actually a mod for it called Tropical Skyrim, a climate overhaul. But there is a small problem. Or there would have been prior to having profiles. You see, what I would have had to have done is uninstalled or disabled some of these mods, the mods that add a winter feel, and downloaded and enabled the Tropical Skyrim mod. Now, this, this is not difficult in of itself, but now imagine if I had, say, 100 mods, and 30 or 40 of those mods were mods I wanted to disable for my Tropical playthrough. And I installed the Tropical playthrough, but then I also had four or five more mods that are, that are you know, appropriate to that climate. Now, if I want to go back and play the Winter playthrough, I have to uninstall or deactivate all of those mods and then reactivate all of the mods I deactivated before. And if I make a mistake, I could have issues and the whole process can take several hours. But of course, as you've probably guessed, that is what profiles fix. So, let's get started. Let's create the first profile, the winter profile. I'm gonna go along to this drop-down menu and I'm going to select new profile and I'm going to give it the name Winter Profile. And I now have my first profile that has, as you can see in the drop-down menu, eight mods. Now, before I actually create my tropical profile, I'm going to create another one first. I'm going to create a base profile. You don't have to do this. This is just something I generally do. And this base profile, which is now selected, I'm going to remove all of the mods I don't consider essential. So I'm going to disable. Do not delete. Do not delete, otherwise you will delete the mod from all of the profiles. And do not uninstall from all profiles. Just select and hit disable. I don't want wet or cold either. I might need realistic water too for my tropical profile, but not for my base. So I'm going to disable that. I'm going to disable frostfall, and I'm going to disable footprints. This is now my base profile. It has SKSE scripts, Sky UI, and Immersive Hood. These are some things I will never play without, no matter what my profile is. And this is a good way to start any new profiles that I have. And don't worry, again, if, if I switch back to the winter profile, all of these mods are still there. They're still ready to go. I can still play with that winter profile. The base profile is just where I'm going to start for my tropical profile. So, next thing to do, create our new tropical profile. Tropical 
profile. You probably don't need to call them all profile. Probably tropical winter and base would be enough. But there you go. I have now got a tropical profile created and selected. Again, you see why I made the base profile. It started my tropical profile with just the base mods. Had I created the tropical profile with the winter profile selected, I would have had all of those mods created, uh, sorry, selected. And to the base mods, I'm going to add the Tropical Skyrim Climate Overhaul mod, which is a pretty large mod, actually. It is fairly large. I'm going to download with Manager. This is version 1.0 and look in the... Okay, texture missing from main archive. I also need this update for version one. And update version 1.1, download this. I'm probably going to need that. So download with manager on that. That is three files that need to be downloaded. And once they've downloaded, activate the main file first. I believe that is it. And then the missing file in this particular case, and the update. Now, if you get this type of message, what it's telling you is it's trying to overwrite a resource that already exists. It's already been added either by the default game or the mod. Usually, it's a mod because usually only mods add these sort of loose files. And what it's actually saying at the moment is it's trying to replace this particular file with one that was installed by the main mod itself, Tropical Skyrim. And in this case, yes, I want it to replace this file and in fact any other files uh, for this mod. But you should always read those messages very carefully and just make sure you know exactly what you're doing, which mod is overwriting which other mod's files. But that is the mod installed. I'm going to go along to the plugin section. And there we have Tropical Skyrim and Tropical Skyrim Birds. I'm going to run Loot and see what it says about the load order. It's suggesting we move the files a little. I'm going to accept that and apply. Close this. Yeah, it's moved Tropical Skyrim above Sky UI. And that is it. All that's left to do now is actually test it and see what it looks like. And there it is. It looks a little different, doesn't it? Yes, indeed. Very different. This, believe it or not, is Dawnstar. <laughs> On the northern coast. This is Dawnstar with Tropical Skyrim installed. One of the coldest areas in the game. As you can see. A lovely, sunny, balmy day at the beach. I feel a little overdressed now. And of course, now I'm free to add as many mods as I like to this profile. Possibly some armor mods with more appropriate attire for the climate. And, you know, you get the idea. I could make this profile as big as I wanted. And then, one day when I grew a little bored of the sunshine, I could switch back to the winter profile just like that. It really is that simple. The process can take a few seconds depending on how many mods you've got installed, but that really is all there is to switching between profiles. And there you go, back in game. <laughs> the Skyrim we know and love with all its snow. Now, as your load order gets more and more advanced, profiles do become a little more complicated, and some of the complications vary game to game, but that's a little out of scope for this video, where I just want to give you the basics. I will talk about details such as that in future, more advanced videos. You are more than welcome to join me for those, or any of my other many videos, and I look forward to seeing you there. But for whichever videos you decide to join me for. Until then, remember, as always, have fun. Okay.